this is Nature coming back at you with another beer review. Today we have uh, yet another Three Floyds Brewing Company beer, but uh, this one's this one's a little special. This one is associated with, or at the very least, branded uh, with the band Municipal Waste. You can see the Municipal Waste logo as some sort of uh, collaboration, I assume, between the Three Floyds and the band in question. Now, tie-in products with bands uh, and alcohol are nothing new. You might have seen the Iron Maiden beers on, the, on your local liquor store shelves. I know I've seen collaborations with bands like Lamb of God, and uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen one uh, with a Monomarth too, which I unfortunately did not get to try. Hell, I even think at one point uh, a band I actually do like, uh, Incantation, uh, had some kind of like specialty mead. Uh, which I never got to try either, unfortunately. I would have really liked to have tried that. Uh, if you're not familiar with the band Municipal Waste, they're a, a U.S. sort of thrash, hardcore, punk kind of crossover hybrid band. They're pretty well known. They're signed to Nuclear Blast, so you don't get much more mainstream metal than Nuclear Blast, except maybe uh, Metal Blade Records or Roadrunner Records or something like that. Uh, anyways, this is a lager which is produced by Three Floyds Brewing Company, as mentioned. Three Floyds Brewing Company, they're out of Munster, Indiana, of course. And it is referred to as the High Speed Steel Lager. A uh, lager for shredders. Combining the fury that is Three Floyds and Municipal Waste. We bring you this lager for shredders. Dedicated to the art of partying. Anyways, there's not much else to say about this beer other than it's pretty basic uh, lager. Clocking in at a very underwhelming 5.2% ABV. That's enough bullshit talk. Let's crack this bad boy open. It's so light and clear that uh, light seems to just pass straight through it, completely unimpeded. As far as presentation goes, uh, this does not look very appetizing or palatable. It looks like I am holding a glass full of piss and uh, almost appropriately it smells just like a porta potty at a musical festival. But how does it taste? Well, let's find out. I'm being held against my will. I'm doing this against my better judgment. <coughs> uh, yeah, it tastes like municipal fucking waste. That's for goddamn sure. Yeah, I've just been waiting this whole time to say that. I've actually tried this beer before, so this is not a blind taste test or anything. Uh, yeah, it, it tastes like a pretty standard uh, rancid-ass fucking cheap shitty lager. Looks, tastes, smells almost exactly like Bud Light. It wouldn't surprise me if they just repackaged fucking Bud Light in a Three Floyds bottle, honestly. It doesn't just initially taste terrible. The aftertaste just lingers in the most heinous of manners. Ugh. That's yeah, just awful. I mean, obviously I've had worse. I mean, I've obviously had Bud Light. Maybe I was exaggerating a little by comparing this to Bud Light. Nothing's worse than Bud Light. If you gave me the option between this and, uh, I don't know, what's another basic bitch-ass lager? Uh, say, if you gave me the option between this and, say, a Yingling, a Yingling lager, uh, I would probably take the Yingling, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the Yingling just has more flavor, or better flavor at least. Now if you gave me the option between this and a Sam Adams Boston Lager, I'll take the Sam Adams Boston Lager every time. <coughs> so that about summarizes my thoughts of this Municipal Waste Three Floyds collaborative branded uh, lager. If you just happen to like this terrible content, then uh, feel free to like this video and subscribe. If you have any thoughts you'd like to share, then feel free to drop them in the comments box below. I have been Nature, and I will see you all in the next video.